Hello everyone. This is your girl Zingaya, the Zen Libran. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope it hasn't been that bad to you. Hope everybody's out there feeling good, smelling good, pocket right, because that's how we rocking on the Power of a Woman channel. I try to stress healing the woman, healing the foundation of the planet because once the woman is back in balance everything will fall into place everything else will be balanced so women we have to put ourselves back on the throne and not rely on other people to put us on our throne we got to have respect we got to warrant the way that we want to be treated in society and in relationships in the home whatever and don't take nothing less um, because everything begins and it ends with a woman. Okay, clear the energy, burn a little Palo Santo. Um, of course, this is a general reading for the collective. Uh, take what resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Um, I pull off different energies, so if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Um, again, hit that like button, share and subscribe so that you can donate energetically to the channel so that I can pull off your energy and I can do a reading for you because I would love to do a reading for you. Um, okay, so before I get started... I had a vision. Um, what happens to me, guys, is words like come into my mind, like a lot of letters come into my mind, and then the letters will scatter out, and then they will show a word. And this particular phrase was beings with shared minds. What that means, I don't know, but I wanted to convey this message to somebody. Uh, beings with shared minds, um, people that think alike, people that are trying to get into your thoughts, um, share your mind with you, or people with the like, um, people that think alike, people that wants to think like you. I don't know what that means, but I'm, I'm I just relay the message that spirit gives me so um we'll see what that has to do with this uh reading that i'm doing for the collective today and of course um we have the goddess anana here and this is also a, a goddess that rihanna channels you know in the song she say oh nana what's my name oh nana what's my name yeah Anana is here and she gives off the energy of desire. So somebody is desiring someone. Hmm. Or they have the desire to do something. Interesting. And I want to say thank you to Anana for being here and supplying us with her energy. Thank you so much, Anana. And with Anana, we have the hunter. And the hunter is said to track down your fears and your desires. So this is a hunter. He has his arrow. He's ready to hunt. He's ready to track. He's stalking his prey. Okay. All right. And we also have conflict and defeat. And this is the five card. The five energy is the lowest energy um, that you can come across uh, in the deck. It is basically what it says, conflict and defeat. All the negative energies of conflict, defeat, envy, jealousy, cheating, deception, lies, manipulation. I mean, just lowest of the low. So...
It seems like whomever is, um, seems like somebody's going to be tracking something. Somebody's going to be hunting somebody. Somebody's going to be going after somebody that they desire. That's what I'm getting here. And we have the ancestors there here and they say, hey, fuck, shit is about to get real. So something is finna happen. Somebody's finna come around. Somebody's finna try to go after somebody. Somebody's desiring somebody. But um, this person is of low vibe. Somebody is, has a low vibratory rate going on here. And uh, shit is about to get real. Okay. All right. And the energy of this reading for the collective is going to be the nine of swords this is stress anxiety just stressed out thinking about something just 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 in mental conflict just a mental conflict all right so what i'm seeing is somebody is stressed out over desiring somebody and they have to have them they can't take it anymore and they are finna go after this person full speed they're going to hunt this person. They're going to do what they have to do. They're going to track this person and do what they have to do. Um, it's going to get real out here. It's going to get real. Um, this person is, like I say, low vibratory, just manipulative, deceptive, cheater, liar, envious, jealous, and there's going to be conflict and defeat. So let's get the terror on this and let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Okay. All right. Beings with shared minds. Hmm. So people with like mentality. They think alike. They have the same views, the same thoughts, the same outlook on life. Of uh, somebody is trying to uh, get into the mind of somebody else and uh, share their thoughts, tap into their thoughts. Um, we shall see. Now this tarot it tells the TIE, so we shall see what this is meaning here. Beings with shared minds. I looked it up. Um, telepathic connection. Um, brain bridging. I mean, this whole was a whole lot of crazy stuff that came uh, when I started looking that up. Beings of shared minds. Hmm. Okay. Some tarot. All right. Okay. Archangel Uriel, please protect me as I download these messages from the universe. Archangel Michael, please protect me from anything that doesn't serve me good. Please protect me from anything that has me to sway from the path for my life's purpose. Archangel Raphael, please honor me with the gifts of discernment clarity and accuracy to convey this message to my collective today please and thank you spirit okay all right We have the High Priestess in reverse, we have the Two of Wands, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Lover's Card, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the King of Swords. Okay, I have the lover's card out here, and that's uh, giving me Gemini energy, giving me the twins, which means that uh, 
We have a twin flame out here. Okay. We have a twin flame. Somebody has halted from coming toward their twin flame because they're so freaking manipulative. They're in that five energy. They're manipulative, deceptive. They don't show their feelings. It's always something. Okay. This person um, wants to be in a partnership with their twin flame. Plain and simple. This person wants to be with their twin flame. This person wants to be in a partnership with their twin flame. But because this person is so manipulative, he has been stopped in his tracks. And this person is stressing and having anxiety because they don't think that they're going to be with their, the love of their life, which is their twin flame. So this particular person is desiring their twin flame. And this person just can't take it anymore. They've been losing too many nights of sleep, going through too much anxiety. And they have to get to them, so here they come. They come in toward their twin flame. They want to be with their twin flame. And they're going to do what they have to do to hunt them down, to track them down, and to conquer them. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. This person wants to be with their twin flame. But this person is this person is with someone. This person is in a commitment. The person that they're with in a commitment with, we have a couple out here. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. They're with a Queen of Swords energy. This uh, we have an, an air sign um energy here. A lot of air signs. It's a lot of manipulation out here on the board. I see a lot of fighting, a lot of chaos, a lot of manipulation, a lot of deception, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of mental conflict out here. Mm. Somebody's going through it in um, in the relationship they're in. And they are, are tired. They feel like they was a fool to forever choosing to be with this person. Um, the person that they are with... Um, Earth sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person is very intuitive. This person is a liar, a cheat, a manipulator. This person is cold, calculated, doesn't have feelings. This person is off the chain. This person is off the chain. Um, and this person wants to be with their twin. They're tired of it and they want to be with their twin. Um, there's a lot of secrets in this relationship. Um, it's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of drama in this relationship. Uh, somebody wants to be with their twin flame. Um, somebody they feel is beautiful, single, has their money together, eat, eat right, uh, just a loving, caring, nurturing person, um, cares about the environment, cares about animals. Just a, a all way around a beautiful person. They're beautiful physically um, and beautiful inside. Uh, just a all around just beautiful being. This is beautiful energy. Um, this person um, looks at their twin flame like they are the sun. They want to be in with their twin flame. They miss their energy. Um, so this person... Um, dealt with a twin flame in the past and just because they were manipulative uh and they uh man they did their twin flame wrong they played a lot of mind games with this twin flame uh, a lot of manipulation with this twin flame just had this person just mentally uh in jail just did their twin flame just wrong and their twin flame is like, no, <laughs> that they don't want to be with this person no more. Um, and this particular masculine energy feels like they were a fool. Feel like they were a fool. This person has uh, been in three po three party situations. They tried to have their twin flame in three party situation. Um, um,
and they love their twin flame. But judgment has been called by the universe and is not allowing this person because this person vibes so low. Um, like I tell you, they vibe on that five. That five is the lowest energy in the deck. And they aren't ascended enough to be with their twin flame. Their twin flame has ascended. Uh, they did the work. They're doing the job. I mean, they're the sun. Um, this particular person has ego, plays a lot of games. I always try to keep the twin flame in a three-party situation. Um, it's just ridiculous. So um, their twin flame doesn't want to be with them and the universe doesn't want them to be with them because this person vibes too low to be with their twin flame. All right. Yeah. This this is Emperor. Got this Emperor here. Yeah. This person, their twin flame actually wanted to be with them in the past. They offered them um to have a commitment with them. They wanted to be with them, but this person went in a whole totally different direction. Um and walked away from their twin flame. Uh walked away from the, their twin flame and went in a total different direction. This this person went in a totally different direction. This person always did have feelings for their twin flame. This person is a uh, very um, immature emotionally. They don't know how to express their feelings. Um, they cared about their twin flame, but they never expressed how much they loved their twin flame. And they're regretting that now because they think it's too late. Um, they're not sure if their twin flame is seeing somebody. Um, they're not sure. They can't find out much about them. Um, but this person wants to be with this twin flame. This person wants to put in the work with this twin flame. Uh, they look at this person as beautiful, confident. This person uh, is connected with the universe. Uh, this person is beautiful, confident, a firecracker. Uh, you know, and um, they just want to be with them. They want to be in their energy. Um, and they're willing to put in the work. This is what they know what they want. They know what they want. This person has been going through a lot of conflict in their relationship. They fight a lot. They don't work together. There's a lot of drama over there. Uh, they always try to manipulate each other. Uh, people are still putting each other in three-party situations. Uh, the, both spouses are cheating on each other. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Why even get married? It's just ridiculous. Uh, this... Uh, relationship this person is mentally tortured mental conflict just just being in this relationship is just awful for this particular person and this person is selling is is also is 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 serving out some karma you know um they walked away from a nine of pentacles energy to be with basically a hoe the queen of wands upside down is a hoe she's asleep around She's a thought, thought, titty, thought, 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 thought. You know what I'm saying? We called them bust downs back in the day. A tip drill back in my day. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. So judgment has been called on this person. Um, it's too many secrets over there. It's too many secrets about this person. I always got some secrets. And they over there fighting about everything. Uh, people are gossiping about all the fights they having in their relationship, all the conflict in their relationship. Uh, folks are talking about them. I mean, it's just terrible. They got their business all out in the street. You know, these emperors over there trying to control um, uh, their spouse, and their spouse is trying to control them. These emperors over there being a tyrant, uh, abusive, um, just abusing their power, and um. You got the, the Queen of Swords over there. She's cutting the Emperor and the Emperor's cutting the, you know, it's just ridiculous. They just, like two rams just bang. It's a power struggle over there. One wants control and the other one wants control. You know, um, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous, you know. Um, these two people don't need to be together. But um, 
this masculine energy wants to leave the relationship and they want to be with their twin flame. They want to be with who they desire, you know, but this is their person. This is this person's karma being with this hoe, picking this hoe over their twin flame. This is uh, cut and dry, but the ancestors say, fuck, shit is about to get real. So this person finna come full speed ahead. They don't care if this person seeing somebody or not. They coming and they ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? They got their weapons and they ready to fight for this connection. But they're going to be in conflict and they're going to be in defeat because this person, this confident, beautiful person, they got their money right. They don't want to be with this person anymore. So this person is going to be defeated and in conflict because they're not going to be with... Uh, my collective. I did not light my incense and I feel the light it now. Light it now. Go. So the message that I got, the download that I got from the universe, beings with shared minds. That's what this is. These two people or like people, they manifested each other. This is all they thought about. Uh, she was just a manipulative person, just doing her jobs on people, just dogging people out. And he's a manipul manipulative male doing this stuff, dogging people out. So they attracted each other. They think the same, they act the same. And both of them are trying to dominate each other, you know, birds of a feather. And he uh, and she drew in the person that they are, their mirror image. So these are beings with like minds here. Here they are. Here they are. The king and queen of swords. There they are. People with like minds. People with like minds. All they think about is getting over on each other. All they think about is manipulating the other people, dogging people out to get what they want. They're selfish, they're deceptive, they're liars, they're cheaters, and they deserve each other. They deserve each other. Now, I hear this King of Swords want to come over here and track down this Nine of Pentacles. I hope this Nine of Pentacles got a man, and I hope this Nine of Pentacles set this person straight. You know what I'm saying? Because you just don't, but this person don't care. And I hope this person, you know what I'm saying? I don't um, advocate violence, but in some cases it's warranted. And um, this fool got his weapon. So I hope she got a man and to knock his block off when he come around because this person is finna, is finna be on one. Your answers say, fuck, this shit is real. You know what I'm saying? Shit finna get real. Fuck, you need your people around you. Cause ain't no telling what this person, he's, a, he's not thinking clearly. You know, and um, you need your people around you. Shit is about to get real. This fool finna be on one. It's cuffing season. It's finna be cold. And this person probably needs somewhere to stay. They want to be comfortable laying up in the bed. You know what I'm saying? Laying on a surda. You know what I'm saying? But no. Going on over there with this queen of swords. Going on over there with this hoe. This queen of wands in reverse that you done dished your twin flame for. Because I've seen on the board that the, this person rejected the love offer that their twin flame gave them um, because they wanted to be in three-party situations. They wanted to sleep around with everybody. You know, they over there doing threesomes, all type of sex. You know, everybody in their bed. They got all different booty smells in their bed, and they love that, and that's what they love. That's what we're fighting for. But now nah, you stay in love over there with you with your queen of swords in reverse, with your queen of wands in reverse, and leave this nine of pentacles in reverse because she not having it. The universe ain't having it. So I hope you got a man, boo. I hope you got a man that ain't playing about you because if you nine of pentacles, whatever you attract, I know he on the up and up. So let this fool come over your house or contact you on your phone or wherever this fool because ain't no telling what they finna do. They finna be on one. Let your man handle that, you know. Let your man handle that, you know. <sighs> Tell
tell you the truth, boy. Let's get some affirmation on this, y'all. I get so sick of these men. They don't want to be right, but they want you to stay around their stanky, lousy ass. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to don't want to do right, and you want people to accept that you're gonna go out here and sleep with everybody. Uh, accept that you're not enough for this person. Accept that you can't please this person. You know what I'm saying? Now, me personally, I could take a lot in the relationship, but that cheating factor, I don't, I don't, I don't go for that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you cheat, and I feel I'm not enough woman for you. I'm not the one for you. So leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, leave the relationship instead of cheating. You know? And why stay in a relationship? But these two people are codependent on each other. They're beings with like minds. Beings with like minds. That's the message I got. And that's what I'm dealing with here. Beings with like minds. Birds of a feather. They like to have their threesomes. They like to have B, do their BDSM. Um, they like to sleep with men and women, mind you. You know, they always want somebody else in their bed. That's how they get off. They all they like all type of tantric sex and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But he wants to hunt. He's desiring. He's desiring. He needs that energy from his twin flame. He needs that energy because without... Without her, she has a type of healing energy, and they want that. And they want that, and they're ready to put in the work for that. Now, <laughs> the things ain't going right over there. Uh, they want to come back. No, it don't work that way, bruh. It don't work that way. He got his nerve, okay? I'm not no back, uh, uh, you know, I'm like her. You know, I'm not no back burner, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm wifey. I'm not number two. You got me f messed up, you know? You got the trust card out here. Trust that everything will be okay in the end. You got the peacefulness card. You're peaceful, tranquil, and untroubled in your heart, okay? You need to get yourself centered and get ready because there's a battle that's a, a brewing ahead. But everything is going to happen in divine timing, okay? Everything is happening for divine timing. This person doesn't care. This person hasn't ascended. This person hasn't done the work. And their twin flame has. So the universe is halting them. They're not going to let them. They're blocking them from this person because it's not divine timing. It, what's going to happen is going to happen in divine timing, whether it's your twin flame or not. If you haven't ascended, you know what I'm saying? And did the work. The universe, will, will, the twin, if your twin has done the work and you haven't, the universe will replace you. The universe is not in the habit of put, trying to put a crown on a clown. If you want to be a clown, be a clown. The divine is going to thump your ass right off the board, okay? You got to do the work, bruh. You got to do the work. You just can't put your, uh, get suited and booted and think you're going to come up here and, uh, just because you want this person now, just because you desire this person now, you think you're going to get your little arrow and track her and think you're going to have her? That's crazy. Somebody you didn't even want. Now you want to track them down. You don't care. You're desiring them. You want their energy. Uh, they can't feel your energy no more. No. You got to do the work, dog. You, you, you ain't vibing how to be with this person. This person has got clarity about what's going on. All uh, the secrets have been revealed. They got clarity about this particular person, and they don't want to be with this person. They don't want to be with this person. And also, this, this, this person, um, this other person has got clarity of who their twin flame is, and they want to be with them. But it's too late. You didn't want them at first, you know? So take it personal, okay? They're telling you to take it personal. You got you got clarity about this person. You know everything about this person. Spirit has revealed everything to you about this person. Uh, so believe it. 
you got clarity. So take it personally because this person has done a lot of mess to you and they're continuing doing mess to you. They're continuing trying to manipulate you, uh, you know, trying to do you in, trying to set you up, trying to be slick because they don't want to be with you uh, for real. You know, because they didn't. You ain't finna be no second choice. You ain't finna be a back burner, bitch. I mean, you just ain't that person. You know? You know? Saying trust and the peacefulness of your heart. Get yourself centered. Because in divine time, and you will have clarity. And take it personally, because this person has done a lot of things. Is doing a lot of things to you behind your back. That's what I'm getting from spirit. This person is steady doing things behind your back. And you have a lot of clarity on things that went down, but you're going to get more clarity. And take you're going to take it personal, and you're not going to accept this person. Who cares if they desire you? You're not going to just accept this person. This person is going to be in conflict and defeat. Because it's not divine timing, because this person hasn't done the work. They haven't done the work. If they would have done the work, the twin, them and their twin flame would be together, and this person wouldn't have to go get suited and booted and track and hunt somebody. That person would already be with them. So this person has to do the work. Don't nobody care that you want to be with them now and you feel that you obligated to be with them because that's your twin flame. That's my twin. It wasn't your twin when you was over there with this queen of wands with a hoe, an escort, you know, a sleep around. A tip drill, a buzz down. But now, that's your girl, right? Whatever. Let me get an oracle cord on this. I've had the Knight of Wands been popping out in readings, and King of Wands been popping out in his readings. And now we got the Queen of Wands. <laughs> so you got the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, the Queen of uh, Swords, and the King of Swords, they, they have like minds. They all have like minds. Being with shared minds. And that's the that's the uh, download that I got from Spirit. They think alike. They act just alike. They deserve each other. They deserve each other. They always fighting each other. I mean, abusive toward each other. Just terrible. And people are talking about it. They gossip about them because everybody knows their business in their relationship. I mean, it's just, just that tumultuous in their relationship. They both vibe so low. All right. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. And don't be so serious. Okay. So divine is telling my um, collective to don't be so serious. Get out and have some fun, play, and everything. Don't worry about this particular person. This person is going to go through some conflict and defeat. It's not your fault uh, that they over there in nine of swords energy because you tried to be with them and they resisted you and they went a totally direct different direction and left you for hope. So be with their hope. You know what I'm saying? Be with your hope. Go be with your hoe. You know what I'm saying? Don't come over here and try to knock my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. You know what I'm saying? This is a cut and dry right here. I hope this helps somebody uh, to know. You know what I'm saying? Um, Men, come on. You got to rise to the occasion. You got to rise to the occasion. And the King of Swords, you are intuitive. You knew who this person was, and you decided to go in another direction. That's all dandy and fine. You see that you made a mistake, and you want to go back towards your twin, and you want to correct some things. But you have to do the work. This person is not going to allow you near them. The universe is not going to allow them with uh, you near them because you haven't ascended to where that person is. That person is up there, and you down low, digging in the trash, vibing low. And you know, men, there's a lot of men out there not willing to put in the work to be with these divine women. Women are divine anyway. Everything begins and it ends with a woman. I don't care how you look at it. And don't let no man or, or anybody else sway you from thinking that way. Once you get that into your head that everything begins and ends with a woman, 
everything will come clearly. Men, stop trying to pull these women down off their throne to come down there and be on your own. Why would you want to do that when you know these people are loving, they're trustworthy, good mothers, good providers, they, they the shit. Why would you want to pull them down and be on your own? Don't you think it would be more logical for you to enhance yourself, to put some growth into yourself and, and go up there and be on her own? That's how I supposed to work. That's your solution, Hunter. This person is in fear that they're not going to be with their twin flame. But they're refusing to do the work. You got to do the work. Unless you're going to be in conflict and defeat. All right? Do the work, gentlemen. Do the work. But these people are beings with like minds out here. Both of them are whole. He's a whoremonger and she's just a hoe. Get it together, y'all. Get it together. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I love you all. And I always remember to make no shade. And that means know thyself. And I love you all. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.